Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And here we are with Prehistoric Kingdom's announcement trailer for their beta release. How exciting. So I've already played it before this, so I can jump backwards and forwards and trail sort of through this trailer and explain to you what I'm looking forward to and what I'm noticing. So without further ado, let's just do that. So if I head right back to the start here, the first thing I thought when I watched it is, yes, we're getting a new biome, but actually I don't think that we are. Um, I think they've just kind of been clever with the terrain paint and obviously the lighting in the day and so on to make it look like perhaps it could be a new biome. I don't think it is. I think it is still the kind of tropical map that we all know and kind of love. Um, no, I do love it. It's just getting really old um, and it would be really great to have some new stuff happening. However, so, I mean, all of the foliage still looks the same. There doesn't look to be any new foliage that I can see. Maybe it looks a little bit better than it did in Alpha, um, which is to be expected. So if we continue through the trailer just a little bit, and we've got the Torvosaurus here, beautiful skin on this dinosaur, all the rocks and foliage still looking the same. Um, yep, T-Rex that we've seen before. But then we jump into this and I'm just going to scroll back a tiny bit here so that we can pause it right here. Okay, perfect. Um, so first things first, I want to say, look at this shot. So first thing I noticed was this Avery in the background here. I think it might be custom. I don't think they're giving us ones this big. I know they, they've given us some in-game ones, but this one looks to be custom and a bit bigger. Then in the back, you can see we've got like these structures here with the umbrellas and some new path varieties I can see. We've also got heaps of new path barriers on the side so you can see this one here is different to this one and both are new then we've got these torches here that we don't have in alpha either and this is a new roof type this is also all the way over here in the back here is another new path barrier or path um i don't know what you call these i mean i guess they are barriers these that's new as well in the background there so awesome can't wait for those then we've got all these new, oh, yeah, okay, so new flooring, new flooring, and these are like new little baskets, I guess, more of this new path, I guess, you, well, fencing, new fencing, that's what I, the word I was looking for, new fencing. Then you've got the roof, um, all these new roof pieces as well, and some new, new seats for the sides of the paths or wherever you want to put them in your park. Um, I'm quite interested to see this new, I mean, it's not really a pack, but this new kind of um, tropical sort of theme that they've got coming through that'll be interesting then we've got the new um, dinosaur statues I guess I'm still a little bit disappointed about how the guests look they still look very drone like um, I'm hoping they'll be fixed for early access I know they'll definitely be fixed for the full release but they're still looking very I'm just walking through your park a little bit like an ant and not really doing anything got some new lights this path pathing looks interesting it looks like they've really upgraded and updated their pathing thank goodness for that so we can actually do lots of fun things with it and then you've also got this new roofing in the background as well all the foliage still looking similar to what i've already seen changing the color of the statues that's cool all right so here we are in this shot and some really exciting things to talk about here first of all let's talk about these things here and here waterfalls thank goodness for that in my alpha park i built so many areas where i was like yes i'm gonna put a waterfall there and there and there and then we couldn't have waterfalls which is totally understandable it's alpha but i can't wait to have them in beta you can see here there's some little nozutoceratops here and then yeah we've got all these new pathing barriers and roofs just a different angle of, of the building we already saw earlier <clears throat> oh, and if we just scroll back a little bit here, we've also got this new bamboo um, wall and roof, which we don't have in Alpha either. And I can see like a new floor here as well, which is going to be cool. Mammoth coming in beta. Okay, something I'm really interested to find out here is when you go under the water, is their fur going to look wet? What's going to be happening under the water when these mammoths are walking through the water? That's what I'm keen to know. So, I mean, and I'm keen to know what um, the hairy animals or dinosaurs look like wet. Like, there are lots of shots of what the ones that don't have any fur or feathers look like. But 
when those ones get wet, I'd be really keen to see or find out what happens. There's a new skin for the micro raptor and it's raining, raining, raining. Now let's just pause this for a minute and talk about this large thing here. We haven't seen any evidence at all of any underwater animals. So, I mean, I doubt very much that this would be anything like that. However, it just looks like it could be. <laughs> um, but no, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not. But it just, the way that it's set up, I mean, it's not particularly safe either, but someone falls in there and go for a swim with the dinosaurs. All right, this is what I mean. So here you've got the wet dinosaur here and then you've got the feathered one, but it's not actually in the water, it's standing out of the water. So I'm really keen to find out what these ones look like when they get wet. You've also got um, no new foliage in this shot, but you do have, we do have green water here, which I think we can do in alpha. I'm not 100% sure. We can make it dirty, I know that. New skins. Looking so cool. Oh, I can't wait for this dinosaur. Oh, I'm really loving the weather. Like, I love how this is all misty and, like, really, it looks like it's been raining and it's just kind of misty at the moment and this is all marshy. It's so cool. Plus, this dinosaur is so amazing. Yay, the protoceratops. I'm really looking forward to these small dinosaurs. I can't wait. Oh, is this a new flower? I think it might be guys I think this is new in fact I'm almost I almost would put money on it when I, mean, I would this is definitely new this this foliage here okay and then we've got the final Camarasaurus shot through the trees or the foliage that isn't new but we can we can use it in alpha I just haven't used it very much because um my park has been really tropical but I think in beta I've got some ideas for a new park that Perhaps I'll use a lot more of this foliage. Something I want to draw your attention to in this shot is that this dinosaur is drinking water. So hopefully we'll have some more eating and drinking features in beta, which is going to be amazing. And then that's it, guys. That is it. Some of you might be looking at the release date and feeling disappointment. I actually am not all that disappointed, to be honest. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not all that surprised. I did expect there to be... A significant well I don't know if they'd call it significant but I would because I'm really looking forward for the game to come out a significant delay I actually expected it to be released in 2022 the early access so I'm not surprised I am surprised that beta is not until December I thought that they would try and do beta before Jurassic World Evolution 2 and um, that was just what I thought they would do but they obviously have their reasons for releasing it later than that and to be honest, I would rather have a delayed game than a buggy, crashy, horrific game that, you know, you don't really want to play. Um, it's a really, really awesome game and the devs have done a great job, particularly in the current climate. It must be really hard to try and build and create a game the way that the world is at the moment. So my hat goes off to them and I can't wait for beta in December. I've got so many good ideas for you guys to be watching and then early access in April. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you are liking my stuff, please subscribe. It's been really useful and helpful to see all of those subscriptions going up in recent weeks. It's been really, really um, inspiring and really making me want to keep making things in you on YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.